This is my first conversation with a knighted individual. This is the lovely Miss DC who is knighted for service to humanity, a humanitarian. And also, we're going to talk to her about the rock stars of the personal development and how she's been affiliated with them. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so excited and thank you for the work that you do. Well, first of all, give us a little bit about your background and how you got started and, and what you currently do. Okay, so right now I am CEO of Accelerated Business Schools and the Money and You program. And originally I was in the legal field. And when I was very, very young, I had a vision that I was going to be in a very big body that looked like the United Nations. So I took languages in college. But through a series of circumstances, some of them very, very sad, I had a lot of loss. My first love was lost. I had a couple of children that I miscarried. I was very sad, and then I got involved in personal development out of sheer pain. I didn't know what else to do. And what ended up happening, and I had an enlightenment experience too in Hawaii in my mid-20s. And I ended up meeting all these people that really helped me find my life purpose. And then in 1978, in my 20s, I attended the first business schools of entrepreneurs of its kind. It was transformational in nature and experiential learning. Mm -hmm. And it just completely blew my mind. And I knew that it was my work. It was designed literally for me. And uh, through a series of circumstances, too long for this interview to share, I ended up uh, working with the owners, with the people that had created it, and then later inherited the work, and I've been doing it now for 33 years. Wow, absolutely amazing. Well, tell me, because off camera, you've actually worked with some of the biggest names in personal development, um, Tony Robbins, Jack Canfield. So how did, I mean, obviously you, you came into this, but how did you start teaming up with those individuals? Uh, basically, I met them all when they were not famous. So my mentors, Marshall Thurber and a wonderful lady by the name of Bobby DePorter, who now has a program called Super Camp and Quantum Learning, they created the first business school for entrepreneurs of its kind, and it was six weeks long. And people wanted to learn shorter time, not six weeks. So they created a program called Money and You, which was only five days long. And then later we shortened it to three and a half days. So Jack Canfield, for instance, did that program in 1979. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki did it in 1980. Tony Robbins did it in 1983. And then we just started, uh, oh, Harv Ecker did it in 1986. Laura Meyer did it in the, in actually in the 90s. And so what happened with them is that they, they had something occur to them in the program because it is based on the teachings of Buckminster Fuller. So something happened to them in that event where they realized that they could create wealth, they could create all the money that they wanted, but also add value to humanity. So I ended up with probably the one that I've had the personal, the biggest impact on was Robert Kiyosaki of Rich Dad Poor Dad mm -hmm. and Kim, his wife, because we were business partners from 1985 through 1994. And so for nine years we worked together and it was literally my idea. I thought he should be a best-selling author and create a book based on our work. So his first book, If You Want to Be Rich and Happy, Don't Go to School, was based on our work. And then um, that book is not as well known as the other books. And, uh, but that really began to put out the question that we have as, a, as an organization. Do we have the right educational systems in the world in order to eradicate poverty all over the world and also hunger in those countries that need it? So basically, these people have attended our programs and then they become famous. So when we first met Tony in 1983, he, I knew he was going to be a big star. He was so fabulous. And we, our organization was the first people that put him on an airplane long distance from San Diego to Hawaii and then later, excuse me, to the East Coast. And so we were there at the beginning. And of course, Jack Canfield and I remain friends. We're part, he created and I co-created the Transformational Leadership Council that we are co-founders. And, and then of course with Robert, Kiyosaki, you know, after we worked for nine years, he met Sharon Lecter, who ended up being the person that supported him and partnered up with him to create the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series. And of course, the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book is very much based on the works of our organization, which is based on the works of Buckminster Fuller, a humanitarian. Mm -hmm. 
So that book became very famous because it really struck a chord. It's like people really started getting that they don't get entrepreneurial education in the world. Yeah, and yeah. so they really needed to, and this is what we've been teaching, of course, for over 33 years. We really want to transform educational systems around the world to start teaching little people very young on how to understand money, how to understand business, not to get in debt. And the system, the way it is right now, most people, when they get out of college, they have huge debt, huge. Some people, a quarter of a million dollars. That's no way to start your life. And I, I can, this whole interview could be about me and my thing about transforming educational systems. But honestly, we feel so happy with all of these people that have gone on to create their own work, but it's the same message. And the message is that the whole world needs to be re-educated, but there's a transformation that needs to occur in every human being. So that's why even wonderful people like Bill Gates, mm -hmm. who did all this research, and he found out, him and his wife and, um, and his organization, they found out that education is key in eradicating poverty and hunger. And, but one of the challenges right now is that they don't understand about, and Bill Gates and Melinda and that whole group, if you're listening right now, they really need to see that you, a human being needs to go through a transformational process, and so does an organization, and systems need to be changed. So we have to change the, tra we have to transform really the educational system, and then people get transformed in that environment. It's no different than anybody individual who's trying to tr uh, make transformation in their own cells. They're, they're needing to reprogram right. how they think and how they do things. Correct. So that's, that's what you're, you're doing. Correct. And so you're actually creating social entrepreneurs and all those people that you mentioned are definitely social entrepreneurs. They're constantly giving back. Um, Besides that, what is the common element that you see in these successful people? Because you're, you're working with them, you're a successful person, um, you see them day in and day out. What is that common thread that they have? They have had an experience where they have experienced a lot of pain. And then they have made a decision about themselves that they were going to make a big change. Because, you know, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to create the same results, as we all know. So there, there has to be a radical change. And that's why in our program, Money and You, we churn out social entrepreneurs because for three and a half days, we play experiential games where they discover for themselves blocks that they may have or decisions that they made when they were very young. The other thing is that they realize that it is about service. Like one of the people that you interview, one of my favorite graduates is Eric Lafon. Mm -hmm. And Eric was great at what he did, but when he did Money and You, he realized that if he really focused just on service alone, that then he didn't have to sell so much if he taught people how to focus on service. And that is one of the principles from Buckminster Fuller called precession. So when, when people begin to understand all the different principles and they begin to understand the step by step, then they begin to really know that they have to share that with others. And wealth comes from creating wealth creation projects, not, cre not projects that are going to take away or take away life. And this is why we're going through such a big learning experience in the world right now. They are right now, and this is, abysmal statistics because we had gotten down to 17,000. But right now we're back up to 27,000 mostly children, a lot of adults in there, but mostly children that die every day from either starvation, hunger, or lack of, refrig of uh, medicines, which you can't have without refrigeration, mm -hmm. without electricity. 1.5 billion people on the planet have no electricity or live under with less than $2 a day. So you can't have that kind of imbalance in the world. And so what is happening now is that people can feel that there's something so inherently wrong and they're trying to change it through politicians and political systems. The system needs to change, but not the people. So that's why we now have a personal development is so key. The whole world probably needs to go through a program like that. Absolutely. Well, we really appreciate all the work that you're doing and that you have done. And we've always believed in personal development. Get out there, get involved, keep learning, keep changing, and uh, you'll make the world a better place. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.